Hello and welcome back to another episode of our Unknown to Icon series. We're in our third season and we are still with Brackley Town. In the last episode, this is what happened. So there we have it, there's uh, fixtures that are played in the background. We were only won one game in the background by the way. Uh, so you didn't miss too much. It's a hard league, you know. Oh, Chesterfield last chance. Don't nick it, don't nick it. Are oh, you freaking joking me? I can't believe that. Dead on 94 minute. Oh, I'm gonna hate injury time in the next football manager. So not going too well for us at the moment. And unfortunately it continues and it gets worse. You might have noticed by the thumbnail that we are in a relegation battle. And in today's video, I'm going to show you the last two games of the season. Yes, it has reached the climax of the season for us to stay up. We try and push to remain as an icon or get to icon status with Brackley Town. If we save them, we're 501 odds to win the league. We're favourites to go down. Can we define for odds? Well, let's go find out. So we left you all for way back in November. And as I said in the intro, we've only got two games. Now, the reason why we've skipped so much is two reasons. I've been sick, and so I thought, you know what, I can't record anything while I'm sick. I'm still recovering. I do apologize if I get any sniffles or I cough throughout the video. And then the second reason is because it's been quite crap and I've been shuffling through about a thousand tactics and tweaking left, right, center like I do when I don't do very well to try and find that winning way or find survive or go into survival mode. Because of all that, I just didn't think it was worthwhile making a video on crap. And the exciting thing is we've got two games left of the season. We need to achieve something. I don't give away too much of what we need to achieve because I'll go through a table after probably for the first game. Just keep it intense of where we are. But I'm going to quickly go through some of the key games of the season. Uh, we will quickly catch up on the fixtures. I'll show you as an overview. I'm not going to go through every single one, but I'm just going to pick out some key ones here. So this is where we left off. We lost to Chesterfield 1-0. We didn't play that bad. Well, we got one shot on target. But on the scale of things, it wasn't that bad. And then they scored in for 94th minute. However, in the month of November, we started it with that 1-0 loss. But... It's not all doom and gloom. We actually won a game. We actually only won one game in November, but we beat Dagenham and Redbridge. And here we go. This is where it is. We won 2-1, a very close game. You know what? Every single game was close. There was a couple of games where I experimented and it just didn't work out. That's what you got to do in these situations. If you don't do anything, you're going to face the sack. In late December, during the Christmas period, we played Maidenhead away. Now, Maidenhead was second from bottom at this stage. Looking at my notes, they still are second from bottom, so they haven't really moved that much. But we lost 2-1. Again, really, really tight game. Yeah, again, I was just like, what can we do? And what tactic was I using here? I was still using a... Got rid of a vol, vol, uh, volantes, whatever they're called. I went back to a 4 one, two, three. You will see some tactics. And look at that, actually. Look at my front three. 5.9, 5.9, 5.8. That's just not acceptable. Two new signings. Actually, they're all new signings. Just unacceptable, right? But then you have games like this where we beat York 3-0. We was at home. Evan's got two for us and a Bonon. It's a totally different story with the marks here. Sadly, it wasn't a league game. It was an FA trophy. But we played really, really well that game put away our shots and held possession as well. So we end January, seven games was in January, quite a lot of games, but we end January with this 2-0 home loss against Boreham Wood. You look at it and you see again, it was pretty close, pretty close. Yeah, they had that more on target, but you look through for stats and go, that was a pretty tight game, if honest, and you can see where... I went all out attack just to try and turn the game around. Oh yeah, look, I, I'm just looking on, I'm just remembering it. Did we miss two penalties? What's this? Or was that offside? I don't know, is that penalty misses or offside? Let me know in the chat because I cannot remember. Is that the same or was that X on a penalty miss? Might just be offside, just got unlucky I think uh, with our attempts. 
But it was quite late on as well. 94th minute, they got the second goal, 53rd minute. And we went for a bit of a weird formation. Very, it went very direct, kind of containing, and, and it just didn't pay off. So across those seven games in January, we won two of games, only one league game. And part of the game was, again, for FA Trophy, so we progressed there. We go into February, first game in February, actually, and we win away. 2-1 against South Shields. Now, South Shields was not bottom, but South Shields was down there, uh, bottom half of the table. So this was a vital three points, I guess, uh, or six points, as you want to call it. But away from home, we dominated it. Uh, I mean, you look at stats, we had more possession, more shots, uh, more intensity sprints, one headers, one tackles. We deserved that win. And as you can see on this one, I was trying out a 4-2-1-3 or 4 4 or four three three formation, just very central. We try and get my wing backs up again. Trying things out. Worst thing is you'll you'll win a game and then you won't win another one for like three four games. And like ah, oh, you know it's not working. Okay, I got lucky that game. End of February. Now uh, from that game against South Shields, we didn't win any more from change of tactic, and we got battered four one against Ackerton. And yes, they, they deserve a win. Maybe not 4-1. They dominated, but it was probably more tighter than what it probably shows on the scoreboard. And that formation, I believe that I'm now going to change it. And this is where the tactic change in fair. I give it opportunities. I give it three, four, five games. And if it's only going to pick up one win, I think it was one win, three losses and two draws or something like that. It's just not good enough. We are fighting and... At the moment, for the way it's going, we're just sinking. Because, you know, we was first, second in start, had that great month. And since then, it has just slowly Ooh. gone down. And then I was like, oh, 50-point target, stay up. I just struggled to try and get to that 50-point target. And this is why we are now in a relegation battle. All right, we're in March now. And prior to the end of February game, where I changed tactic, we went on and lost two more games, 3-0 and 3-0. And then we beat Gateshead, who are top of the table, 2-1. This is where the results are just so imbalanced. You can see we wasn't the better team here. But unfortunately for us, Gateshead just couldn't get their shots on target. We was restraining them probably from long shots or their players just didn't turn up in front of goal. So we played a 4-4-2 diamond formation and it worked for us. Again, utilising our win backs, I really like that. But then again... Did this formation work for us going forward? Let's have a look. Now, this wasn't the formation I started the game with. It was that 4-4-2 diamond formation. And as you can see, end of March, we lose 6-1 to Eastleigh. Yes, we got a man sent off on for 40th minute, but we were already losing 1-0. And I think I just tried to go attacking, if I'm honest with you. And because we were losing, and I was like, I need to try and get a point. There's no point sitting back with a 1-0. And that's what happened there. This is our last game we played. And luckily we got the win. Because I'll tell you now, we just was not picking up anything. And it was just so bad. Through all my changing and tweaks of tactics, I'm a person who likes to research, try things out, see what other people are doing. Because in the day, if they're a full-time content creator and they have the time to proper test a tactic, that's where your knowledge lies. That's the guys you need to go. But I don't like just taking it out of the box and implementing it into my team. I like to go, right, okay, I like that. I like what you did there. Does so-and-so, X, Y, and Z with their team. I'm like, oh, I like that. Okay, and that's a weakness that I'm having in my tactics. I'm going to take that and try it out within my team. And then you might go to another video or blog, wherever you want to go. Take snippets. You might like a shape of something and then you like might like some play instructions of something else you try and muddle it together to make a perfect formation or tactic of a how you want to play and b uh get your team to be successful but i've been obviously trying loads of bits out i've even started take it for, out for box which i hate doing and it still wasn't working until now so i was going to make a tactical video which I did all for testing uh, behind the scenes. And I've just never got around to make the video, if I'm honest. Now, I looked at my Spurs tactics 
all the tactics I created with Spurs, my Brackley Town tactics. I even whacked in loads of out for box, best ones people be downloading. And I even did a vote out onto YouTube or maybe Twitter to see whose favorite tactics they had. Uh, so I took all that and then I went testing and I utilized obviously underdogs, elites and all that jazz. There was one tactic, especially for underdogs, that came out top trump, like for a team who was projected to come bottom. It came out, it just stood out, but it was going to be a great underdog tactic. And this is the Nat Venom. We all know if you play Football Manager and you've tried a Nat tactic, it is literally take out a box and it's going to give you some sort of success. Whether that might not mean that it's great for your team, but you might just need to tweak. Now, I took a couple of tactics of what I created and I remember Naps because he had this Volante too. Remember that I eventually went into Volante. Is it Volante? Yeah, we go Volante. Volante. Uh, we had these, but we had... So actually, let's load mine up. There you go. You could see the difference. So I went balanced and pushed my centre mid back. Uh, and I don't play ball playing defenders. So it's very similar. So I probably took his out of the box and then made tweaks. And we got promoted with this formation. So now, because it was quite a while ago, I did that. I couldn't remember what formation I probably based my formation on. Based on that tactic research I did, it's very similar to what I was playing with, which we started off well. We got promoted and we started off well with. But maybe this is just for tactic that is just going to work for us, take us to that next level. I'm going to, uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to play our last two games with Naps Tactic and see if it gives us a survival. And then I think it gives us something to build on. These two here, our version and Naps version, maybe we go back to my version and tweak it again. Or is this just going to work for us? Does these two work for us? Then I'm going to research some more tactics and kind of make some tweaks. Or do we just uh, keep it? Do we need two ball playing defenders here? Because it was working with us just with one. Maybe that's just too much. Is for attacking wing backs, wingers. And it is this too much attacking for us? I don't know. Maybe I need to have a little tweak. Maybe this could still work for us. It just might need some tweaking. So going back to our last game of the, not the season, our last game that I played uh, for the other day. It's pretty good, right? I mean, XG 3.2. And a great start to the season. A couple of losses. Picked up a win against Notts County, one of our favourites to go up. Lost two, drew four. And that was a really bad month. Only won one there. That was not November. Uh, December, we won, didn't even win a league game, just won our FA Trophy. One league game there, one FA Trophy. It's like win one game a month if we're lucky. Let's beat South Shields there, beat Gateshead there, and beat Scunthorpe there. Now let's get to the table and see where we're sitting. So despite I'm saying that we've got two games to survive, good thing is we've got four point buffer. But if we lose those two games and South Shields win their next two games, we're out. So this is why the next game is so important to us. So, so important. And there's our fall from grace. Obviously you can't see it behind me. Actually, yes you can. Let's remove me and there we go. Can see a fall from grace and that just little spike where we got that 3 0 win. Now, uh, how long have I? I mean, it hasn't been working out that great for us because if we go into this tactic, so that was naps, we lost 2 1. I think I've only been using it two games. So I went, ah, yes, I went back to my old formation. We lost 3 0. My old formation picked up a draw. Just wondering where it changed. I think it was a 6 1. Well, it's just like something's got to change. I tried this 4 2 4. And we were just so vulnerable down our wings. I mean, when we lost to Torquay, I think we was the better team. Yeah, look at that. Got the goal. And then just these two last uh, late minute goals. Late minute, but end of the game. 8th, 4th, 88th minute. It is what it is. Should we go and play a game? I think we should. Right, so we are going to try and keep the same team as what we had. That got us a win. Clear subs. Oh, who are we playing? Maidenhead. 23rd in the league, we're at home. You would expect us to win this, right? But the way the season's been, expectation is a gone off for me. But if we win it, we know that we're safe. So let's see. All right, Grante, he's wanted to rest all bloody season, I swear. He's uh, 
bit of a pain in my ass. Um, da, 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 da. Kind of want to stick to this team. Ah, oh, Alan. Oh, Alan. Oh, yeah, I haven't shown you anyone I've signed. So Alan's a youth player. He's just come through a youth batch literally not long ago. I think uh, last month he came through. I signed him up and he's already made his debut. He's 16 years old. Look at that. He's already a two-star, a north-south standard player. But look at that. Great potential. Uh, I, I like his stats as well. Uh, not far from what I kind of want. He, really good mental uh, mentality as well. Physical could be better, but again, he's only 16 years old. Who else? So he's going to keep his place in his team because he's playing good. Uh, Jack Nadin, I don't know if I told you about him already, but because I was playing a cam as well, I was changing left, right and centre. He's played as a winger, he's played as a cam, uh, but he's come in and he's um, he's been okay. I mean, it's 6.4 shit, isn't it really? Uh, but he's all right. Oh, and I brought in Kabonda back on loan. He's playing out wing for me at the moment. Got me a few goals. A few goals, not as many as last season. And just doing a job. Skua came back into our team. And Connor Evans stays up top. And I'm just including loads of under-18s now. Uh, because I'm desperate and my team just needs to make sure that we keep them all in good condition. Flanagan's back in my team as well. I'm going to keep that because we won last game. So... Let's not break it too much. And as I said, we're going to play for nap formation. Maybe we could go back into our formation if we get a couple of goals. Or is that just a bit risky? I don't know. Let's see, shall we? Or let's just go all attack and just hope that we uh, win it. Lost, drawn, lost, lost, one, And maidenhead, lost, 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 lost. This is a game for survival. Right, here we go. So three minutes in and we score. Got to concentrate watching this. Come on. You know what? Hard times, hard days, whatever you want to say. We we had to find something. We have. It's working for us. Do we go into next season with this tactic? I like building my own tactic. That's the only problem I have with it. Can we make it better? Is it too attacking for us? That's the only thing I'm worried about. But sometimes attacking is a way of defending, right? It's a form of defense. Wow, 2-0. Ugh confident now that we're going to survive another season in for National League can we get another season played before Football Manager 24 if we do I will probably play it quite quickly in for background and do I just stick with Nap's tactic might put a vote out there see what people think should we use out of the box already tried and tested it's working for us fair enough against crapper teams maybe we need to try and to design a away version bit more cautious or do we just drop down the attack to balanced would that work could experiment there keep it confident in home fixtures within an our way we try for attack straight away if it's not working we can drop it down positive try balanced try and find that home away balance of try and get a couple of wins and some draws and with that we're going to be chasing playoffs and potentially win for league but for his stats that he had he just was rubbish skewer Wow, Skua might be getting a new contract out of this. A, I was ill. B, I was losing it. 4-0. Ah, just sit back and enjoy it. Yeah, I just, uh, whether it was me just being ill and I couldn't think straight, I was, I was like, you know what, what What can I do while I'm ill? What's going to take my mind off being ill? Let's play football manager. Sometimes that's a bad mistake. Uh, yeah, I'm happy. Well done, guys. Let's go to our tactics and we can drop this now. We can go... Still play positive. I don't think we need to be such high on tempo and so high on press. Just bring down that intensity. It's still really high intensity. It's really not coming down, is it? Why is that so high intensity still? Maybe run at defense. Is that going to do anything? Positive, maybe? Balanced? We go cautious. Play a bit more narrow. I saw someone saying that. If you play cautious, play narrow. Just wondering what is pushing that positive space. Counter press. All counter press changes counter. I mean, could we just take them off? I mean, we don't want to leave up too much. Get balanced play. Okay. Have I just broken the tactic? Does these have a effect as well on density? I don't know. I can't see. Okay. We will keep our shape. It's just ease off a little bit. Take foot off the gas. That's what I'm trying to achieve here. Save our breath in pressure and tempo. This could be for a wave formation we do. 
five now. <laughs> you get these creators making these amazing stuff. Sometimes it doesn't work, though. To be fair, actually, for me, probably majority of the time, it doesn't work. I don't know about you. Use the tactic out of the box and it just clicks. And don't tell me like Man City or Top Team. I mean, you take a tactic like this and you go from bottom of the English pyramid and you win the Champions League and you never change tactic. Have you ever done something like that? Or have you created a tactic and you've done that? If so, tell me your secret. And I'm going to use it for FM24. <laughs> oh, give up making mine. Nah, look, uh, you could just got use the knowledge of the game. But unfortunately, the game just changes so quick. Uh, unfortunately, with me, I think about realism of how I want to play in real life. And unfortunately, this is a game and it doesn't work like that. Oh, there's me too busy chatting. Uh, let's make a triple sub, I think. Well, for the last game of the season, just rest up some players, give some other players some confidence. Younger in for Agbon Tahoma. And let's give Rendell. No, nope, no. Nope. Let's give Alan a rest. And he's not playing that great anyway. Oh, maybe we don't need to show for the next game. No, I will. I just want to finish the season. It'd be good to just get it done on video. We will probably just jump straight into the next game. But we can celebrate. We are in for Vanarama National League next season. In Nick's Football Manager, I'm going to be starting Unknown Top Icon from the get-go, I think. Uh, not in for beta, but in for first release. And we're not going to play our usual big team. We'll probably play a beta of maybe check out the Japanese League, just get a feel for the game. Japanese is a new league in the game, so it could be a good one to start off with. And then we see that 6-0, 6-0. Six nil, uh, and then we need to. Um, I don't want to ruin for surprise, but we do have a new concept coming up. It's kind of FIFA meets Football Manager kind of concept, and I'm at the moment doing the work on the database for that. Going to be very excited to share it with you. Once we get it rolling, I will then make the editor files or database available for everyone as well. But stay tuned. Stay tuned. You did the job I asked of you. Yes, I'm a very happy manager. I haven't been able to say that much this season. There it is. There's the news we want to see. Brackley avoid relegation. And we did it in style. Just like that. In style. Amazing. Yeah, Evan's got a hat trick. Is his contract expiring? It is as well. Did we bring him in? Is he good enough? I think he is good enough. You know what? When it comes to it, I'll decide. And that they might not want us to. And there you go. Gateshead are champions. They lost us against York at home. And York's down there as well. Jeez. I will look at the table in a sec. But wow. Gateshead aren't very good against smaller teams. But they won for league. So fair play to them. Let's just bring this up a little bit more. Uh, you can see the 21st team. So South Shield's not relegated yet. So we was on 44 points. So if we lost that game, it'd be a point in it. It would have went to the last game of our season between us, York and South Shields. But it's okay, we're 17th in the league and we are, yeah, we can just see another day in this league, which is fantastic. Because just to remind you all, if we look at season preview, there we are. We was for favourites to go down 700 to 1. 700 to 1 to win for league. Now, I don't know if that, does those odds change or did I read that wrong? Did I read Maidenhead's 500 to 1? But 700 to 1 there. Notts County favourites to go up. That's a good point. Where's Gateshead? Wow, fair play to Gateshead, 11 to 1. They was predicted to come 13th and they won for league. Just shows anyone can win it. Well, let's play for last game of the season and call it a day because I've got a lot to do to rebuild this team, decide what we're going to do on our tactical aspects, probably use naps and then just create, make some tweaks for our wave formation. All right, last game of the season and we probably will need to make some changes. Actually, it looks quite green, doesn't it? Last game of the season. Trent Rendell's picked game. Everyone's picked up their game, which is really nice to see. 6.74. Trente comes back in. No, nope, Alan stays. What a, what a youth. Gets signed up at 16. I think I played a 15-year-old at some point as well. Pendleberry. Can give a game to Wardrington. No, nope. Flanagan. Mm, 6.58. He's not playing that great, so Wardrington can come in. Jack Turner. Yeah, I mean, he's just... He's not... Not suited for that position. I think that's why I changed for a cam to a centre mid just to get Turner in. And it was working. Nadine, can we fit anyone else in this role? Not really. Do 
Should we give Jack Johnson a game? Why not? Another youngster. How old is he? 18. What's he looking like? Not bad mentally, right? Physical, not great. Technically, mm, let's give him a game. Doing all right on under 18s already. And we're going to keep Skura and Evans in. because They are definitely our in-form players. Happy with that indeed. All right, last game of the season. Yeah, give them a good send-off. So they've lost one, lost one, lost one, one. And we are drawn, lost, lost one, one. Our form looks just so much better with two wins in there. It's very... Well, I don't think I've seen that since the beginning of the season. Because as you see, we've only been winning one a month, which is awful. Oh, we're away. We didn't really change to away. I guess this is a good test. See what it is. See how it performs against a better team, I guess. Can it perform just as good as at home where we won 6-0 against a weaker team? Or do I need to make tweaks to make it a bit more balanced and not so attacking? Let's find out. Let's keep on attack and see what it does. Go on. Can we get a lucky one, Johnson? Ooh, offside. Even in Premiership. Ooh. Two-footed. Ooh, Allen. Ooh, dear. You need to learn from that. Ooh. Last time we uh, went 10 men down, we lost 6-0. Or 6-1. Oh, no. It's going to have to be Johnson. I haven't got a left back in my Nash. Let's do that, shall we? Ah, man. Yeah, now we're going to have to go... Balance, play more narrow, we'll keep for intensity. Maybe a few tweaks at half time. I was hoping to get nil nil, make a couple of tweaks and um, maybe nick one goal win. Yeah, come on, guys, just keep them going. <sighs> I mean, Alan is 16 years old, he's just being youth and now another youngster, Nash. I've even got it get stuck in either. Mm, I'm nervous with this Nash. Ooh, crossbar. Come on, can we get for luck? As soon as they score, it's over. But until they do, can we get a cheeky draw? Ooh. Oh, what was that? Did Nash pass it back to Agbodhama and then Agbodhama headed it? That's what it looked like. All right, let's make some changes. Four performers off. So that is Skua. Yeah, he hasn't been performing all game. Randall can't. I mean, he's playing left back. Maybe swap them. See, he's coming down that right more. And Nadin on for Kibonda. Keep Evans up top. I mean, they're not even getting forward, are they? So let's just put them back as support and leave it like that. Maybe play more upwards passing. Keep narrow on. Let's carry on again. I mean, we're away from home against a better team. There we go. Here's a replay. I don't want to see this one. Just move on. From it is literally this is how my season has been. Or every game, I like you try something new, you win a game, next game, you either lose badly, you draw, and you're like, oh, okay, your hope's still there, you just bang, play another game, you lose badly. Or you draw another one, you're like, okay, go again, draw another one, you're like, oh, okay, then you lose, like, really tight game, you're the better team, so you carry on. And then you lose, then you draw, and then you win. And you're like, oh, I was just about to change my tactic. And then you draw, then you lose, then you lose. And then you go, you know what, I've had enough of this. You change the tactic. Can you start that cycle again? That has been my whole season. Great. Now we've got a uh, render off, which I don't think I can make any subs, can I? No. Fucking brilliant. Oh, love it. I hate these crap... Oh, I was just going to say, I hate these crap headers. They just head it back to players to pile on more pressure. Great goal. Great goal. Great an assist by our team. Look, that header. You've got no one on you. Chest it down, bring it down. But there's no way in the game to tell them to do that. Keep the ball down. Oh, maybe in Football Manager 24. I haven't looked at any. I've seen bits and pieces and I'm getting quite excited. There's quite a few bits new, to be fair, which is nice. Set pieces. But I'm going to... I'm waiting for them all to be done and then I'm going to look at it all and potentially make a video. I'll probably do a recording and see if it's a decent video or not to actually produce 3-0 we survived you know what well, i'm glad that we won last game because if this was the result and we lost last game we're, we're done we're relegated so our season's finished and we have finished 18th again just take me away and there you go we had the little up at the right time at the end of the season to get survival but what a fall from grace and our top performers secure Played well for a couple of games and then struggled last game. Again, he's still 18. Feels like he's been around forever. 
Evans, I mean, it, over for a whole season, he scored. I mean, he's scored nine out of sixteen games, thirteen from sub. Fuller got nineteen. He just went crap, absolute crap. Maybe, maybe he might turn his season around next season. Fingers crossed. Start fresh. Maybe bring Evans and have Fuller again next season. Goals are there. Nineteen goals, nine goals from Evans. Uh, so nearly a twenty goal player. It was just a, a, a wide player. It just wasn't getting goals. Obviously, Skewer lately, two assists, two goals, fair play. Turner, that was all from the beginning of the season. Smith, I'll probably keep Smith. He's just a good, experienced goalkeeper now for us. Yeah, he's done really well. Probably keep him. Maybe need to look at my defence. I will work out who I want to keep and who I don't. It's going to be very hard. I think it'd probably be, I wouldn't mind get, keeping pretty much like that batch um, and filler of the goals he's given me so if we say something like that and uh, maybe these two youngsters give them a chance so that then gets rid of all of these players and allows us to rebuild build and make it stronger again and maybe use some of our youngsters like alan we continue we continue to try and become an icon at brackley town i'm going to go away i'm going to sort out my team and I am going to hope I can play it really, really quickly, just in background. And whenever something comes up, I will probably do a video. So I think I do three, four videos a season. It could just be two, might even be just one. If it goes literally, I play for a whole season and nothing's really happened. I might just do a video of that, that nothing happened, but it might have been progression of what we did. We might have just got out by playoffs or something like that. But it continues the story for you. If you like the content, you know what you need to do to continue watching it so that you get notified and obviously it helps grow the channel. Hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, and I would really appreciate it if you could give the video a like so that it can go out to the world and people can watch the story, maybe have a bit of inspiration from choosing their next game on Football Manager 24. Go unemployed, try becoming an icon. If you've become an icon, I'd love to know. Leave a comment, maybe send me a screenshot to my email and I will catch you on the next one. Thank you for watching.